Let's see how hands-on equations can help your students to meet this fourth grade standard. The standard says solve multi-step word problems using drawings and equations with a symbol for the unknown. We're going to illustrate the process with an example taken from the hands-on equations verbal problems introductory workbook. The problem says Cheryl purchased five books of the same amount as Carla who purchased three of the same books and an $8 briefcase. What was the cost of each book? The standard asks us to use a symbol for the unknown. The symbol that we're going to be using for the unknown will be a marker or a, a blue pawn. So let's write down, let the pawn be the cost of each book. Now, how did we know what we wanted the marker to represent? Well, we look at the question. The question, what was, what was the cost of each book? And so we let the marker be the cost of each book. Now, we are told that she purchased five books for the same amount as Carla. So on one side of our balance scale, we're going to place four blue pawns, and we're going to draw four shaded triangles to, uh, to uh, indicate the cost of the five books. And on the other side, she purchased three of the same books and an $8 briefcase. So this then would be our pictorial equation where the triangle represents the cost of each book. So here I have the cost of five books, and we are told that that's going to be the same as the cost of three books and an $8 briefcase. So this is either a pictorial equation if you draw it, or it's a concrete equation if you, if you use the hands-on equations game pieces. Now from here you can solve the equation by realizing that you have three blue pawns on each side that you can remove. Now let me highlight them just to show you, to make it clear, clearer that we have the same value on each side that we can remove. Okay, so now with the physical game pieces you could just take them off the, uh, the flat balance scale or you could erase these if you're doing pictorially or put arrows above the triangles. In any case, we remove three blue pawns from each side. So if two blue pawns are eight, that means that each one is going to be worth four. So we have that the pawn is worth four. We haven't answered the question. Pawn is the cost of each book. That's what we said over here. So now we can write the cost of each book is four dollars. Now we have to do the check. To do the check, let's go back to the original setup. We had five books here and three here. This represented the cost of the books on each side and if each one is four dollars we're going to have four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. Four, eight, twelve, twenty. So both sides will have a value of twenty and therefore the check does work out. So the approach we recommend to help your students meet this fourth grade standard is to take the word problem translate it into a concrete or pictorial notation. You can use the marker to represent the unknown. That will take care of the requirement that you have a symbol for the unknown. Then you have a pictorial equation and then you can solve using legal moves. Okay, so this is a, a very nice approach and our verbal problems workbooks go into this in more detail and of course our hands-on equations training will provide your teacher with the uh, with more experience to be able to show these approaches to your students. This is Dr. Henry Borenson. I hope this has been of help to you. Thank you very much.